We're all in kind of applause for Rufy or Ruthie, whatever the fucker name is. You know, you're doing right. Oh man, I am. I'm kind of mad that the uh, the real douchey couple. Are <laughs> Bitch face, but I'll go to my boyfriend's hair. Oh, oh, I used to have hair like that. And then I got braids, and then God took it the fuck away. Yeah. And I was like, wait, boy, you fucked up with the afro, and then the cornrows came out. Fuck it. Deal with her, and like, yeah, this is hair karma right here, is what it looks like. But uh, I'm loving it, having a good time, you know, clearly my career is going great since I'm here right now, it's nice. Uh, I fell in love though, me and little Min, we're definitely making average size kids. <laughs> for sure, making an average size baby. If you have 4'11 plus 6'9, you get 5'10, baby. Yes! I can't afford big kid clothes. I have big size joints each of three. Fuck that. You know what I mean? But um, she's complaining about, you know, almost being a legal midget. That sounds awful. I am one inch away from being a titan. You know how fucking cool that sounds? I'm a titan, man. That's my fucking bumper sticker. That's my Twitter handle. I'm a motherfucking titan. We have football teams and shit, you know what I mean? But uh, I am from New York, but I have six months in here. New York is the room, anything like that? Yeah, yeah, I got the yeah. in the room. Hey. Yeah, not in my book, buddy, because you're a Jew. You wouldn't let the bagels be so bad. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I a while ago. New York Jews, New York Italians, don't fuck around. Pizza and bagels, baby. And here's the, reason, yes. here's the reason the bagels and the pizza suck. Because the bar is closed at 2 o'clock. You have no reason to have good pizza and bagels. Because your hangover doesn't deserve that fucking awesome four slices of bread in the morning. And your drunk is over at 1.30. I get 4 a.m. fucked up. 4 a.m. fucked up is a whole different level of fucked up. You know what I mean? You're driving around like, I try to find Chick-fil-A's on Sundays. You know what I mean? Like, that's the kind of thing that I'm into. Right? I get, and when it's not open, I get pissed off every fucking week because I moved 3,000 miles to Chick-fil-A in my life. That in and out Burger, but can a motherfucker just put toppings on the bottom of my bagels? Just finish it up. But, um, I'm recently single. We got any single people, recent breakups in the room? Single for Christmas, that is some shit to get. The shit is good myself, you know what I mean? But uh, Valentine's Day is coming up next week. I had a funny woman. Uh, yeah, my friends are laughing because they know the deal. I, I recently broke up with a porn star, which is, you know, a lot of easier than dating a porn star. But uh, people were like, how was it? I was like, I don't know, man, it kind of sucked dick. Uh, yeah, I broke up because it wasn't, uh, I don't know, it wasn't supportive enough. Like, how many ways can you say, have fun with that blow band today before you don't want to say it anymore? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, we broke up because I wasn't cool about her AVN nominations. I wasn't, like, you know, putting it on my Twitter. I'm friends with my aunt and my grandma. I can't put it on my fucking Facebook and Twitter. Good job with that blow band today, baby. Double DP nominations? That's not fucking cool. I'm out of here. No. But, um, we broke up. It was one of the worst ones. I already bought the Valentine's Day gifts. Oh, dudes, dudes know that's the shit, man. That's the worst. You buy like a necklace from Tiffany's and you fuck up, you know what I mean? They're like, hey, wanna get me grave? You're like, yeah, fuck yeah, put it on there. Now you find a new girl named Casey, because you know, <laughs> you're too cheap to get a fucking other one. Like, I'm not buying a new necklace, buy me a Casey, bro. Fuck out of here. You have it spell a different way, it's whatever. They have it, they not my fault. But uh, mine was one big in that one. I, uh, I bought one of those gifts you really can't return. It was the worst kind, you know what I mean? I bought her a make-your-own-dildo <laughs> version of me. <laughs> because I just wanted, she wanted that shit. I was like, all right, cool, do that, whatever. Because she asked for a dildo, and I was like, you know, I went to go buy one, and that's an intimidating shopping experience. If you've ever been to one, those places are like the Nike town of dicks, you know what I mean? Like, every variety, and you're going down, and they vibrate, pulsate, rotate, do your taxes. They're a better boyfriend than me, you know what I mean? I can't compete with these fucking things. Then you see it. And you buy it and you make it, and you're in love with it because every guy knows that his fucking dick is his favorite thing in the world. God gave it to your birth, it hasn't broken yet. Fucking no batteries necessary, it's a great toy. You know, free hair gel, whatever. But, um, you know, so, fucking have this thing. And we break up the day that I was planning on giving it to her, you know what I mean? Like, that's the loneliest dude on the earth. You're walking out the shoe, this pink bag with a dick in it. Oh, God. You're driving home with this thing, and what do you do? You know, LA is a terrible state to be single in. 
oh man, it sucks. I'm six foot nine, racially ambiguous, <laughs> love hip hop music, I refuse to pull my pants up, I smoke weed a lot. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a definitely a keeper. You know what I mean? So, um, and I'm a comic. Me and a comic, for example, if I ever want to have like an XX, not gonna happen because I'm putting this video online. That bitch hates me already. You know what I mean? That's for sure going down. But uh, <laughs> it was very, I, I did get a job recently though. I got a job at Saddle Ranch, which is cool. It's a fun place to work. You know, I look good in plaid, obviously. But here's the fucked up thing. Two midgets working in Saddle Ranch. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I, got, I got no qualms with these little guys. Like, they, don't with them. they have a problem with me. And it goes back years, okay? I, I, I used to be a pizza delivery boy. And I came to this house once, you know, knocking the door. Fucking thing opens up all Adam's family and shit, you know what I mean? Holding there the pizza, you know. Huh. And then I hear a little, you know, voice clearing, a little, little throat clear down here. <laughs> I pick the box up, and there he is. It looks like River Swamo from fucking Weezer, but he's a midget, you know what I mean? He's like knee height, just staring at me, fucking mad, mad that I'm this tall. You know why I'm this tall? My dad fucked my mom. That's it. Nothing crazy. So I'm trying to reach it down to him, but once again, this is a, you know, my arms are fully extended, his arms are fully extended, he can't get there. So instead of being cool and let me, like, you know, hey, would you mind bringing it inside? This little fucking arrogant bastard grabs it, puts it under his arm, now the whole pizza's fucking ruined over your ego, bro. Get over yourself. You're a midget, okay? It happens. When I fucking hit my head on a ceiling fan, I can't fit in a shower. I don't fucking hate my life. I don't yell at the guys who bought that fucking ceiling fan. I deal with it. Number two, I'm at a dance club. I'm fucking dancing. Already awkward enough. I'm like a beacon. I'm bald, trying to dance, you know. It's like, oh, this sucks. You know, because everyone's down here in the fucking mix of it. I'm above it. You know, and I, everyone looks at me during my dance moves. So I just dance and do my thing, and then something punches me in the dick. <laughs> and I look down, and there's this little guy looking at me, and I'm like, yo, the fuck? And he goes, you need me in the head. <laughs> you know why I don't go fucking spelunking through caves? Because it's not a place that six foot nine people go to. You don't go to caves, you're six nine. You don't go to dance clubs, and you're a fucking midget. Now I'm scared. I'm gonna come around and just flare a bartender and knock one of these little guys out and catch a charge. But, uh, I'm gonna give you guys room for the rest of the comments tonight. I'm Ian.